Hey YouTube, so time to get back to this project, this lithium titanate battery bank project. I've actually been chipping away at this slowly for about a year now, and unfortunately just funds and free time were not in the cards. When I had free time, I didn't have funds, and then 50 hour weeks with overtime means that I have funds but no free time. Um, so I'm trying to actually get back to this and um, just get this done. Um, so what I've got is a 40 amp hour lithium titanate battery. It's a 6S1P battery pack. Um, I've done a live stream or two assembling the uh, 3D printed holder components for it with bus bars. And I've done some bench testing with the BMS unit um, on the bench, just playing around with it. Uh, since then, I've got a DeWalt DS300 tough system box. It's basically a toolbox that's modular. It has, um, you can stack them and it's waterproof. So I have this box and I've gone ahead and mounted in the battery. And just in the course of this project, just hilariously enough, um, the color theming ran away from me. I started by printing the battery hold down bars and I printed it in yellow, and then I realized that I'm building a DeWalt-themed battery bank. So once I pick yellow and black as the theme, I have to stick with it. it I, I can't not, right? Um, so after a year of on and off pecking away at this, I've finally gotten to the point where I'm into final assembly. Uh, I've got a 700-watt inverter mounted on these rails that are adhered to the plastic frame using... Uh, um, uh, 3M VHB tape with primer on the plastic. Um, I've got this kind of carrier card for the uh, other electronics. Um, admittedly, I kind of have room for maybe one uh, one more device, but it's going to probably sit in the lid. Um, so I've got a uh, 300 amp mega fuse uh, in a Blue Sea Systems holder. So that's my first line of defense. My second line of defense is this 200 amp uh, BMS and that's going to go up to the lid of this unit. On the lid of the unit I've already started mounting, the, this is already mounted in place, it's a six channel fuse holder. I have a 150 amp DC circuit breaker. It's only thermal not magnetic so it won't trip instantly. I haven't glued this down and you can see the underside here. The, uh, the ribs are designed to interface with the ribbing on the lid. So with a little bit of cyanoacrylate glue, this happily mounts in place. Um, I still have to mount the coulomb meter. This is a bi-directional um, current shunt that measures the current passing either way and provides feedback on the state of charge. It's basically a gas gauge. Um, it measures how many amp hours or watt hours passes in the charge or discharge directions. Um, and I have the inverter uh, remote power switch uh, in the lid for convenience because otherwise you kind of got to reach underneath the cabling and it just kind of gets a little bit messy. So I think that's it for this update. I'm going to chip away at building this and bring you along for the ride. Um, I I'm, I'm glad to finally get around to finishing this project, but look for more to come on this over the next couple weeks. Um, I'm going to try and keep to my once a month, not once a month, once a week on Wednesday video posts. Um, my end goal for this is to have a battery bank that works in low temperatures and ideally I'd like to try and get out to um, some remote crown land or something um, and do some radio astronomy um, probably at night in the winter when there's very little electrical noise. Um, and, and just basically just set an antenna up facing the sky and do a sweep across the uh, sky to see what um, radio signals I can capture. <clears throat> um, so being able to power things um, in a remote location without a noisy generator running would be helpful. Even if it's just off of the 12 volt, not the inverter, still helpful. Um, so I think that's about it for this update. Stay tuned for more content, trying to keep to the once a week schedule. Let me know in the comments what other stuff you want to see, and eventually I will get around to some airsoft content. And speaking of airsoft content, what if I were to do something with one of these? That's right, I've got a micro gun. I've had one for about a year now. Um, a bunch of friends contributed towards this. 
because they wanted to see me build some mad science with it. I've already done a teardown on this. I didn't film it, so I'll probably do the same teardown again, but film it this time and uh, see where we end up. I've already done some mods to it, actually. Um, I've made a uh, battery compartment where the gas tank would normally go and uh, kind of solidified the uh, battery. This is the original battery compartment, so I've kind of made it a bit simpler in terms of just putting in a lipo here. And yeah, expect to see this in a future video at some point. But this is a much lower priority because, well, I've got that giant project behind me. And at some point, you know, the pandemic will allow us to uh, get back to Airsoft. The pandemic will come to an end. So I have plans and ideas for this in the future. So let me know in the comments what you want to see next. And we'll see when we can get to it. Peace out.